Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Camping with the Abercrombies. Guess what time it is? That's right, it's time for some more camping. This weekend, I am at Atwood Lake uh, Campground up near Cleveland. Um, I'm flying solo again because uh, I get weekends off and the missus doesn't, so she doesn't always get to come. But that doesn't stop me from coming out to have a relaxing weekend. Anyways, uh, I'm up here at Atwood Lake. We got here yesterday. I have not had a chance to view the park yet, walk around and see what all is here. But from what I can see, it is a very nice park. Uh, when I arrived yesterday, someone was in my spot. So I had to go back and tell them. The ranger got involved and we came over and the guy was apparently one spot over from where he should have been and you know the ranger asked me if I wanted him to move he was already you know set up and everything and it's only one camping spot and they're both the exact same uh, I didn't really care I made him sweat a little bit you know like I was thinking about it but I told him no I didn't need him to move it was fine it wasn't a big deal um, I still had full hookup and everything and um, yeah, so far, it, uh, it's really nice here. Um, I noticed on the way here, I didn't realize uh, that there were, you know, hills this size in Ohio coming up towards this park. It was pretty hilly. It was, uh, some of the views were really nice, which I would have never expected out here, but they are. There is a lake with a beach, but it said the beach wouldn't be open until May 28th, I believe. So, um, you know, you can go out and kayak and stuff and go fishing. Uh, my neighbors, oh, by the way, my neighbors right next to me, I am in spot 176. I should have been in 175, but I'm in 176. And uh, my neighbor here in 177 was actually on one of the camping websites and commented where he was. And I was, you know, he commented on my sister's uh, post about this park and uh, he said he was in 177 and I saw it and I went outside and I asked him I said did you just post something it was just really funny but anyway he turned out to be a really nice guy uh, his name is uh, Brian and uh, he's uh, this he's just now starting out camping so I got to talk to him a little bit and give him some ideas and help him out I by, by no means know everything about camping but you know for someone and it's their first time out, I think I might have a little bit to offer, you know, to help them out, make life easy. Um, but uh, they turned out to be really, really nice people. I mean, I've, you know, as, since I've been camping, I haven't ran into anyone that wasn't nice, you know, but, you know, he's, he, they invited me over for dinner and, you know, I graciously declined because usually, you know, I'm at my sister's eating or I'm sleeping if I'm here by myself. But uh, anyway, I'm going to um, take this thing and I'm going to ride around the park. I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to ride on my bicycle and look around. It's kind of warm out here too. But uh, I'm going to periodically pop in and, you know, if I see something of interest for you guys, I'm going to pop in and show it to you. Uh, that way I can try and keep the videos a little bit shorter and keep people interested. All right. Thanks again for watching. Uh, and I will be back with you soon. Bye. All right. That was fast, wasn't it? Okay, um, a place of interest. Um, I was not far from the marina. As you can see, there's a marina behind me. Uh, I'm guessing there, it looks like there are people, hold on, I'm going to turn this around for you, hold on. Okay, there we go. There are people down there fishing. The lake uh, appears to be pretty big from here. Also, um, the campground is actually a lot larger than I expected as well. But uh, there's people out here going fishing. I've also noticed that there are a lot of people, that section over there across the lake, mostly, but uh, there are a few people here that are set up for the summer where they've built decks onto their trailers, and uh, they're here, you know, for the year. So I guess you can rent these spaces out for the year and live here, I guess. But uh, I have noticed there's quite a few of them. Uh, but right now, this is the lake. Uh, I've already walked through the bathroom. I didn't really want to do a review in there of the shower house, but I will tell you it was very clean. Someone was in there. That's why I didn't want to go in with the camera. It was very clean inside. And uh, 
right now I'm going to continue my ride and I will be back to show you the next interesting thing I come across by the way before I leave there's another spot up here that is I don't think that's part of the campground but people it's a I think it's a RV park where people live because they have their set up like houses I've seen a few destination trailers and just like over there it's the same thing I don't think they are part of the actual park to rent spaces but this place seems pretty big all right I'm going to continue my ride and I will be back all right I'm back and I am back to tell you guys that this place is huge I mean this place is really big um in the lake there's another view of the lake there's a bunch of pontoons out here that are covered up hold on I'll switch you guys around here we go I don't know what's going on with all these pontoon boats out here but I did notice on the way in they had a sign that they bought and sold pontoons right right before you get to the park so I'm not sure what's going on here but here is another part of the lake I'll try to get you guys to see oh they got the big uh, floaty bouncy house thing out there uh, I'm not gonna ride all the way down because my time is limited there's the big floaty bouncy house the shower house there people out skiing and uh, being pulled on the tubes and everything this is a huge park I had just went past an area that was uh, they were setting up a movie theater you know so I guess they're gonna have movies tonight I don't know what they'll be playing right now I am in the picnic area of the park you know where I guess people can come and cook them something to eat and picnic but this lake is pretty big as well all right I'm on, I'm trying to work my way over to see how you doing I'm trying to work my way over to see Vic and Corinne but she said they were right up the road when she said they were right up the road they were in the car or in the truck so I figured I'd ride up this isn't right up the road but at least I'm getting my exercise in all right I'll uh, tune back in when I get to camping uh, area H which is where she's at I'm in camping area a and uh, like I said all of the spots are really nice there's plenty of room hi how you doing good, how are you? good good and uh, I did notice which I've noticed in other campgrounds is the way they have you come in and where you have to back in they have you do a blindside back which I think is weird I mean it can be done but it's just easier when you can do a sight side back but anyway uh, I will be back shortly bye okay I think I'm getting closer I'm in section H as you can see this this place is huge another shower house they're closer to the actual lake I'm closer to the marina Whew. and this she didn't tell me it was a hill either oh geez you better have some cold for me to drink but uh anyway there they are and she's outside whoo they can Korean <laughs> the real weekend warriors all right everybody uh, I will be back shortly oh look hey you didn't tell me there was a big ass hill <laughs> coming up here. oh by the way you're being video you didn't tell me it was a big old hill coming up here you said you was right up the road yeah, it was right up the road. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess literally up the road. Okay. Well, thanks for taking this ride with me, everybody. And as you can see, this park is huge. This is very big. But uh, I will be back with you shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, everybody. Welcome back. I have had enough of riding around this huge park. It's a beautiful park. Very clean. Uh very nice definitely another keeper uh, registration and check-in is really nice they've got three lanes it's real easy to get through here um, I just came up to registration to buy me a couple of bundles of wood and uh, it was just too hot so I had to come back and get the car I mean not that I could have carried the wood back in on the bicycle but uh, I'm gonna do a quick drive around of the check-in spot uh, and show you guys what's, what's uh, going on here okay I am actually 
going out the exit. Here's the registration and check-in. Um, by the way, it was very hilly getting back here. Very hilly and curvy. That is where we came in right here. I'm going to make a U-turn right here and go back into the park. Uh, very nice. They've got dog parks throughout. They've got uh, really nice shower houses in all of the uh, different sections. There's the check-in right there. These are all of the lanes that you check in at. And uh, we're going to head on down to where I am camped at. But yeah, this place, even when I went back to section 8 where Vic and Corinne are at, um, she said there was another section further up the hill. And I was like, ah, that's enough for me. So I will leave a little bit of uh, curiosity for the rest of you for you to come up here and <laughs> ride around this big old park. All right, here's your uh, dump stations as you come in. Uh, they actually have uh, air pumps, and you can fill your water there. There's an air pump. I'm not sure if it's free air. It looks like it is. Um, then here's your actual dump stations right here. Looks like you got four lanes. I don't know who, if anyone could fit in there, you know, four side by side, but it's there. And this guy, I think, is filling up water here. Also, right here is the, uh, I was told this was the snack store. It's right across from my campsite. They're actually setting up a movie, movie theater down there. Oh, let's see if I can stop. A movie theater down there for tonight. But there's too many bugs out here. I won't be going to watch any movies. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's the Atwood snack store. Or, hold on, my eyesight's not that good. Yeah, it looks like the snack store. And then there's the shower house down on the other side, right beside it. But I'm going to camp, uh, scoot over here to the camp store and see what's in there and see if I can read the sign a little bit better. My vision ain't what it used to be. All right. And there's a picnic shelter. If you have people come up, I guess everybody can hang out there to shelter, shower house, camp store. So. Everything you would need is right here on the premises, except for gasoline, which I think you're... Except for gasoline, which you're looking at probably about a 15 to 20 minute drive to get gas. Uh, but uh, other than that, oh, the camp store was actually closed as well. Um, so I didn't get to go in there, but I did get to get me a uh, couple scoops of ice cream, which was really good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for following. And uh, come join us on our next adventure. All right, bye.